Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you my dropped biscuits um, recipe. I had a lot of requests for this recipe after I posted a short that included me making these for my family. They are super easy and simple to make and you can make them with regular flour or gluten-free flour and they turn out well either way. So I'm making those for lunch today. We're also going to have some sausage gravy with it so we'll be having biscuits and gravy for lunch. Um, and I just thought I would show you how I make those biscuits so that your family can enjoy them too. So this recipe will make about 12 drop biscuits. If you have two cups of flour, um, you'll get about 12 biscuits. I usually double it for our large family so that everyone will get at least two or three biscuits with theirs. Also, when I make gluten-free biscuits, I will either split the recipe in half or maybe even in quarters. Um, but for the basic recipe for 12 biscuits is two cups of flour. And then to the two cups of flour, you're gonna add in some baking powder and some salt. You'll put in one tablespoon of baking powder and one quarter teaspoon of salt. So that is for the two cups of flour. It's one tablespoon of powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then mix those dry ingredients together well. And then I also put two teaspoons of butter into a um, like a coffee cup or you could even melt it on the stove top and then you want to add that into the dry ingredients and then you also are going to add in one cup of milk you can use regular cow's milk you could use almond milk you could use whatever type of liquid really that you have you could use buttermilk you could also use just water if you don't have any milk on this day i had some vanilla almond milk and I went ahead and used that for the biscuits and it turned out just fine. You didn't even notice that it was vanilla. Now I have tried before using almond milk, vanilla almond milk, to make my sausage gravy and you do not want to do that. It ruined the entire batch of gravy. No one would eat it. It really was not good at all. So don't ever do that. But vanilla almond milk works great whenever you're just mixing up your biscuits. So once you have your wet and dry ingredients together, you're gonna just mix them with a spoon or with a whisk or with a fork, uh, whatever it takes to get it uh, mixed together. These are a quick bread, so you don't wanna over mix them. You just wanna make sure you get the ingredients incorporated together until the dough is wet and there are no dry parts left. And once you have that all mixed together, then you're done. That's all the mixing you're gonna do. I was making two batches on this day. I was doing gluten-free in my small bowl and making regular in my big bowl. So it takes me a little bit longer when I make this, but it's really not bad at all. It's pretty simple. So once you've got your ingredients all mixed together, you can spray just like a baking sheet. On this day I use my cast iron skillet because I can stick it in the oven, which is something I really love about cast iron. I sprayed it with some oil and then you drop the biscuits by spoonful onto your pan. And then you're going to bake them in an oven at 450 degrees for anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. Now these took a little bit longer because I was using the cast iron and it was not preheated. So it had to warm up um, before the biscuits really started cooking. Um, but usually on a baking sheet, 10 to 12 minutes is plenty of time um, for the biscuits to get cooked. So while my biscuits were cooking in the oven, I had already been cooking my sausage. And then I started making the gravy. I just sprinkled some gluten-free flour onto the um, meat because I didn't have any cornstarch. And then after I had mixed that together well, I added in some milk. I used about six cups of milk probably and I, I sometimes will add some water if I don't have enough milk but on this day I just used all milk and usually my sausage is plenty seasoned enough that I don't need to add any more seasonings to it. Mm -hmm. 
thank you guys so much for watching today i hope you enjoyed this video if you try this recipe make sure you let me know how you like it in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video i'm sure that you will love this one so make sure you go check it out i will see you guys all next time Bye bye, bye.